Orpington Railway Station, 1982 and 40 years on in 2022. Brought to you by Eclectic Experience. Change seen through images. Make sure you stay to the end to see everything that has changed and also what has not. Some is quite surprising. The pictures provide a snapshot of how the world has changed in 40 years, including trains, cars, clothes, street furniture and even graffiti. The original station was opened over 150 years ago in 1868 and then completely rebuilt in 1905 and these are the buildings that we mainly see today. This is a view of the upper or Crofton side Walpington station in 2022. And this is a similar view in 1982. In the middle of the pictures, cars can be seen that were common in the 1980s, with a Hillman Imp exiting the station. The retail unit on the right was let to an estate agent in the 1980s, but it's now a kebab shop though it has been other things in between, including, of all things, a shop selling trophies. There were no mobile phones in the early 1980s, so the phone boxes highlighted, now gone, were in significant demand. Although the station buildings are mainly the same, the roof on the end wing has been changed. The British Rail Orpington sign has been replaced with a southeastern one. Also notice the graffiti, this style was commonly seen on walls in the 1980s. Although there is still a no entry sign, most of the road layout and signage has been updated with more designated areas such as for taxis. And of course the trains have changed. If we zoom in we can see that in 1982 they were all the slam door type and painted in the British Rail Blue. By 2022 there's been a lot of change. There is a great deal more in the picture. The larger additions include more street lights, bus shelter, signage and road markings. Other new items include a parcel collection point, cycle racks and cash point. To the left we can see the car park extension where a deck was added to the original site and in front of the entrance ticket machines. It will be interesting to see how quickly things change from 2022. How much longer will the cash point stay with the move to contactless payments? And similarly for the ticket machines with tickets on phones. Facing down the hill we see the kebab shop on the left, the rail bridge and the Renault dealership on the right. Looking at the 1982 picture, we can clearly see the Woolwich Building Society and the Renault Garage. With the rail bridge centre, notice there was only one small warning triangle. Looking at what has changed on the left, road markings are few, street lights have been updated and modernised, and there are no railings. On the right, the Renault fencing is a lot smaller, and look at the 1980s cars. In 2022, we see there is more in the same view. If we look again at the same places, the kebab shop replaces the building society. The Renault garage has more and updated signage. There are a lot more height warnings on the bridge. More road markings, including the keep clear box, new street lights and another bridge warning sign. Railings on the road corner and more modern styles of car. Oh, and don't forget to check out the clothes as well. These images were taken from a footbridge across the track and highlight the significant change that taken place on the track side of the station. A train passing through in 2022. Forty years earlier, there were very large carriage sheds and sidings, old slam door trains, a control tower and only six platforms. The photo was taken in the middle of the day 
and there are a lot of trains in the sidings. Zooming in, we get a close-up view of the old British Rail trains and livery. On the left, we see multiple sheds, which have now largely gone. The old sidings on the left have been replaced by platforms 7 and 8, whilst those on the right now have offices and car parking where the sidings once were. In the centre there used to be a control tower, which has now gone. It was removed when the platforms were extended in the 1990s. It is possible from this angle to see the Renault dealership in the distance with the old yellow logo. In 2022, we see on the left where the shed used to be that it is a lot more open. On the right, the sidings have now been replaced by new offices and car park. In the centre of the screen, a new passenger bridge has been added with lifts, which significantly improves the mobility across the station. There's the new platform 7 and 8. If we zoom in, we can get a closer view of the 2022 station from the track side. If we look to the right, we can see the extra deck that was added to the car park, which doubled capacity. Looking at the pictures together, the differences can really be seen. Moving to the other side of the station, looking at the railway bridge. This is the High Street side. The video sweeps up station approach and arrives at the station buildings. Highlighting some of the changes from 1982. On the left hand side, there has been a change to the roof. The path that led up to the old metal gates was still made of cobblestones. We can see this more clearly as we zoom in. Buses still use this side of the station, but the type of bus has changed, as have cars. It's worth noting that there isn't a big sign saying the station name. Looking closer at where the ticket machine now is, there used to be another shop window. Old star red telephone boxes, since removed and replaced by more modern booths. There was only one door into the station in 1982, but another has now since been added. Zooming in, we get a closer look at the 1982 station. Also, check out the fashion from the time. Moving to 2022, on the left, the old gates have gone and the cobblestones tarmacked over. There is a new gate for a cycle parking area. There is also the addition of yellow railings next to the crossing. Something not seen in 1982 is the CCTV cameras. And another new addition is the ticket machines covering where the old shop window was. There is now an Orpington Railway Station sign on the wall. Unlike in 1982, plants are growing from the building. And another recent addition is the wooden platters. I have highlighted only the major changes, but if you look closer, I'm sure you will see many more. I hope you have enjoyed seeing what has changed between 1982 and 2022. And if so, please press the like button. I'll be aiming to make similar videos, so please subscribe to the channel, click the alerts bell, and add comments, especially with any additional information. Thank you for watching Eclectic Experience. Change seen through images.